excuse me. Again. <clears throat> the Bible says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away, behold, all things become new. Right now, I'm going to talk to you heart to heart. I want to talk to you like you've never been talked to before in your life. I'm not going to coddle you. I'm not going to. You, know, you talk to your family, they tell you one thing. You talk to your friends, they tell you another thing. I'm going to tell you the real thing. You cannot change yourself. You do not have the power or the ability to change yourself. <clears throat> you cannot save yourself. No church can save you. No pastor, no pope, no deacon, no one can save you. And if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I'm going to introduce you to Him this evening. Jesus Christ, He's our King. He is the Messiah. He is the Son of God. And the reason that He came to this world, why did He come? He came for us. He came to die on the cross for our sins. Ultimately, the bottom line is He came because He loves us. In all your life, you've been looking for love. All your life, you've been looking for meaning, for purpose, for direction. And you haven't found it. Why? Because you don't know Him. If you don't know Him, you don't know life. And I'm going to take away every option you have on the table. I'm going to leave you one. Because every option on the table is false. It's a mirage. It's phony. It's fake. If you know someone in that position, or maybe I'm talking to you, the only one that can save your life is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. If you're suffering, and you tried everything, you talked to everyone, you've gone to every psychologist, you tried every drug, you got drunk, you, you've been in every relationship, and you are still the same person, is because they do not have the power to change you. The only one that has the power to change your life is the one that died on the cross for your sin. And he's alive. He's not dead. He is alive. He will hear your prayers. He knows what you pray before you and say it. He knows your thoughts. He knows your direction. He knows, he knows everything about you. But you must come to the revelation, to the realization that you're a sinner, that we're sinners, and He's the Savior. You tried modifying, you tried retooling, you tried everything in your life, but you're still not happy. You're still not happy, but you're not joyous. You're not complete. You feel empty. You tried your new job, it's not working. You moved to every new city, it doesn't work. Everything you tried is a dead end. I'm going to introduce you to Jesus. I'm not going to send you a, a handkerchief. I'm not going to send you a book. I'm not going to do that. Okay? We're not into that stuff, right? Right. We're just telling you about Jesus. Now to those, if you know someone that is on their deathbed, if you know someone that's on their last legs, and you know for a fact that they don't know Jesus, my advice to you is to pray and you pray hard. Amen? You pray. This is not a joke. This is not funny. It's not funny games. Hell is real. Hell is real, folks. And if they don't know Jesus, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to I'm not gonna play cage. I'm not going to baby you. Any so it doesn't matter who it is. I don't care if it's the Pope. I don't care if it's the President. I don't care if it's the beggar on the street. If you don't know Jesus Christ, <laughs> and you die, you will go to hell. No one's immune from it. You understand? No one's immune from it. <clears throat> I don't care who you are. 
I don't care if you're a Rockefeller or Rothschild. I don't care if you're Stallone or Smith or Jones. It doesn't matter who you are. It only matters who he is. Do you know who Jesus is? People, this is serious. I'm not here to make jokes. I'm not here to be funny. I'm not here to be re receptive. I'm not here for, for popularity. I'm here to tell you the truth. Do you know who Jesus is? Because out of all the questions that have been asked in your life, all the questions that have been asked since the day you were born to now, there is no more important question in your soul than this question. Do you know who Jesus is? I say that to everyone in the hospital that are dying. I say it to everyone that is living. I say that to everyone I meet. Do you know who Jesus is? And if you say yes, then God bless you. If you say no, then God help you. One of the things my dad said to me before he passed away, told my mother, my brother, and myself. You know what he told us? I thank God that my family is saved. And I thank God that Jesus saved me. Okay. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm sorry. First of all, we just repent of our sins. We are not perfect people. We are so hell-bent in pointing out each other's faults, each other's frailties, each other's weaknesses. And we forget to encourage and exhort one another. No, I don't like it when people talk behind our back. I don't people when people cuss or lie. You try to help people and they don't appreciate it. None of us like that. That's what it says in your word. These are the signs of the times. Disobedient to parents, traitors. These are things, Lord, that are happening now and getting worse. There are really people out there, real souls that are hurt right now. Some are facing surgeries. They don't know if they're going to make it. Some are in a very desperate situation of depression, disparity. There are really people that are hurt, Lord. They're looking in this election for answers from presidential candidates and solutions and problems and agendas, and they're trying to find something to hold on to. They're, this nation is angry. We're angry with our government, so now we're voting for people that are not even in government because they're angry. They have, their voices want to be heard. We have people out there, Lord, doing <clears throat> excruciating things to try to find an answer. Here's the answer, Lord. Jesus is the answer. And Lord, we pray for those people right now that are searching for answers that you will reveal to them, Jesus. Where regardless of their situation, where they are, that you will show them Jesus, Lord. Show them your son. Show them that their son is the answer to all problems, that their son is the rock, that their son is the way of salvation, that their son is the only hope of eternal life. He's the only one that is perfect and pure and holy. He's the only one that is God. He is God in the flesh, Lord. We seek, we pray for every soul that is seeking and hope and peace and security and happiness and joy. We point them to Jesus. But most of all, we point souls that need salvation, that need rescue. We point them to Jesus. We can never get too much heaven, too much Jesus. Never. No. Too much Bible, too much church, never. If it's the right church. Lord, I thank you because my family is saved. I believe that because you said so, and I see it. Now, is everyone in our families, in each one of our families, everyone saved? No, they're not. We pray for those souls right now in Jesus' name. We have left them in prayer right now to you. You know who they are. We pray that you will have mercy, that you're giving them life so they could come to their senses and that they can receive Jesus. 
pray for our young people. They get they get wrapped up in all these rallies and all these situations. They don't, they're trying to find meaning in their life or purpose. They need to find you. Find them, Lord. Rescue them. Save them. Thank you, Lord, for this time. Thank you for giving me the strength to finish this. Because I'm hurting. <laughs> but thank you, Lord. For your honor and for your glory. May all may you be praised, Lord Jesus Christ.